Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs. Behind me, two Caymans. Both of these Caymans, you're gonna see, we're gonna do this in one walk around. As you can see, Royal Pan real quick. Same boat, rigged differently. Going to North Carolina. Both of these guys are probably, I think, about 20, 30 minutes apart. So they will see each other on the water. These bo Both of these are the new layout for 2016. We redid the Cayman deck to include deep and dry gutters and the option to have a pitch tank, live well, or cooler in the back, as well as more open storage, a closed build system, and just badass awesomeness. All grip finish and so on and so forth. So this one, this one is aluminum trailer, Ramlin. This is the deluxe version. This is an upgrade. It's got the mag wheels, polished fenders, all that good stuff. Center console, cut down, two cup holders on it. He wanted his black piping, pleated, bolt on in the back. He does have the V-Marine push bolt holders on it. He does have a casting platform going on it, sitting in the weld shop. Forgot it, but you guys will see it in the pictures. But it goes in the, on the hatch and in front. That's the steering wheel. Just really clean. He's got a Yamaha 60. He's a diehard Yami fan. So there was nothing else that he would want other than the Yamaha F60. Um, Three-door glove box. Removable V-Marine, as you can see here. He wanted his uh, all-around light right there in the center. But just a clean, simple, sexy Cayman. And as you can see, he did the old throwback reverse style decal on it with the black rubber. Else, you got the blue and the, and the white going on it. Now, take a step over here. We got the blackout package with the breakaway tongue. And the breakaway tongue, when you pull that out, it's actually the boat is longer than the trailer. Huge casting platform on this one with a cup holder. Tyler from Castaway Customs doing the uh, sea deck on it. Console. We like this style. It's rare, but it's functional. You have a center console, non-jump seat, cut down, but again, it's off-centered. So instead of in the center, it's moved over. So you always have one clear path. He can still put fly rods here. If he decides to do vertical rod holders, he can do that as well. He has a smaller Garmin going on right here. Again, you gotta have the beverage holders. That also serves for your pliers, your cell phone, jigs, anything like that. Blackout with the Etson wheel, still spinning. That's standard stuff that we got going on here with the Etson wheel. Two steps flat, again, powder coated with the black V-Marine, welded rod holders. He has a jack plate, Suzuki 60 on it. Removable cushions, as you can see, that are snap-on. Um, another example, he's got a grab bar on the other side. He's got the three-door uh, glove on it as well, uh, like the other one. But one model, two different builds, two different styles of guys, the way they fish. I mean, everything's different, everything's unique, and everything is personal. That is what East Cape is. That is a true custom builder. Not just throw options on it, aftermarket, and then they all come the same way, and everybody calls it custom. We're truly a semi-custom builder slash custom builder. So if you wanted this 19 feet long, you got the money, we'll do it. So at the end of the day, we do what you guys want. I say it all the time, pictures and videos do not do this thing justice. But if you stand back, Rory, and take a pan, this thing, the other Cayman, both of these are amazing. And if you don't know it, Cayman is responsible for the success of our company as it gave us the Fury, the Vantage, the Evo, the Glide, the upcoming Bay, all that good stuff. So again, East Cape Cayman. As always, y'all take care. If you're on the fence, you owe it to yourself to check us out. And if you're in the Carolinas, you will see these two running around. Y'all take care. Thank you. Peace.